TVG's coverage of live racing is brought to you by Keeneland, selling more graded stakes winners than all other North American sales companies combined. Pull and the time. biggest sale in the world at Keeneland Racecourse, uh, or Keeneland Thoroughbred Racecourse and Sales, I should say, kicks off on September 11th. And we're very pleased to be joined by Jack Wolf from Starlight Racing. Jack, look, we're, we're all winding down, down Saratoga. It, it's a grind. We know that. But there's no time off. I mean, you jump right from <laughs> yeah. Saratoga right, right to the Keeneland September right. sale, right? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better get revved up again I because know. you guys what? have done some of your serious work at Keeneland. Yeah, we've got a couple, what, a couple weeks before the sale begins, so... Uh one week from Monday. Oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> Check your calendar. Yeah, well, we'll be there. You will be there, and we'll talk some about some of the success that you've had at Keeneland. First of all, thanks for taking the time this morning. We know that you're, you're busy uh, in, in entertaining your clients and uh, your partners because you've got a charge today in the feature, the Grade 1 Woodward Neolithic, a horse that you bought at the Keeneland September sale back in 2014 for 460000 He's already gone on and doubled, tripled, quadrupled that investment. But he's taken on the Giant today, and he's 6-1 to one off of his, his recent uh, score going seven furlongs. What, what are the hopes and expectations of you and your partners? Well, I, actually, I think the horse um, is due to have a pretty good performance. Uh, you know, we've got Jose on the horse. He, he breezed the horse the other day, probably the best breeze that he's had. Uh, he's coming into this race off the seven furlong race. So I may be crazy, but uh, I'm somewhat uh, excited about the chance. Well, Jay, you've never been afraid to, to take on some big horses and take a shot with a horse that's doing well and that has the credentials. And it sort of strikes me that, that Neolithic has been knocking on the door with these types of horses really since the Pegasus. Right. You know, it's, um, I mean, Todd's done a wonderful job of, of placing this horse down at Gulfstream and getting into the Pegasus and then getting an invite over to Dubai and you know not too many horses that have won two million dollars qualified for that allowance race that he won the other day you know so uh, Todd's done a wonderful job managing the horse the only extra weight we have on this is Andy Serling told me he was going to select our horse so that's, that's a lot some, of weight that's a lot of weight <laughs> is the target with Neolithic and we'll see how things go today is, is the target classic or dirt mile, or is it too, still too early to decide where we would see him at Del Mar? You know, I was looking at that the other day. I mean, you don't want to run against Baffert's horse in the mile, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, you can make a case that our horse's best distance could be a mile. But uh, we'll just take them one at a time and see what happens. We've mentioned the success that you've had at the Keeneland September sale. And before we take you back to one of your first Keeneland September sales, we want to talk about a two-year-old champion that you acquired uh, at Keeneland September back in 2011. Shanghai Bobby ran through an undefeated season, and you bought him for $105,000 with a fantastic pedigree. How were you able to get away with that one, Jack? Well, Frankie Brothers is, is the, the one that does our selection process. We work together a bit, but it's Frankie who found this horse. And the race we're watching right here is probably the most exciting race I've ever been <laughs> involved with. You know, we went to look like we were going to win by open lengths, and it looked like we had a loss at the head of the stretch and, and then won. But, uh, you know, Frankie's found a number of, of these horses at reasonable, reasonable prices. And it may be a coincidence, maybe not, but that he was an offspring of Harlan's Holiday, a horse you, you guys had a lot of success with. Well... I think it sort of is a coincidence, other than the fact that, that Frankie likes certain stallions, and after a few years, he started liking the Harlan's Holidays. Good reason. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, we continued to have shares in Harlan's Holiday till he passed away in uh, 2013. But uh, as you can see with uh, Neolithic and Shanghai Bobby, obviously both by Harlan's Holiday. Well, Ashado, uh, back in 2002, you bought her for $170,000. She ran out $3.9 million. Then you sold her at the Keeneland November sale for $9 million. That's a lot of millions of dollars, Jack. I mean, from one horse. And it all started at Keeneland and ended at Keeneland. And now she's across the street in the Hall of Fame at Saratoga, here in Saratoga Springs, New York. What did this filly and eventual mayor mean to you and Starlight Racing? Well, she was unbelievable. We were talking before the show that uh, that was the first partnership that, that I put together. And uh, Johns Martin and Paul Saylor were the two other partners first, first time going. And, and everybody says how lucky I am. I think Johns Martin is the luckiest one. He, he bought a, a third of three horses and got Purge and a Shadow. So 
Uh, but it was a, a great way to start off the partnership thing, and then it just grew from there. But um, that Philly and that experience we had was just unbelievable. And uh, see the picture here <laughs> of, of uh, Todd when uh, when the winner was there. So That's, it was good. So earliest days of Starlight, and, and you mentioned Purge was part of the really four of the top horses that you guys have campaigned have all been products of the Keeneland September sale. Um, uh, till now, how, do you approach the sale any differently? Do you, as with that kind of success, does it get that, that much tougher? Well, historically, we, we'll buy some horses at FASIC uh, July and, and, and August. Uh, this year we passed on the July sale. We bought two up here at, at Saratoga. Um, so we're going to have, we'll probably end up buying four or five for the girls and probably another six or eight for the starlight. So. Um, I know this is good news for Keeneland. <laughs> we'll, we'll probably be spending more money than, than usual up there. And, and the girls, we should mention, star right. ladies racing. We're just in the winter circle as well, uh, just the other day with the pretty promising offspring of uh, Orb. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. The, uh, you know, we're either going to run her back at Keeneland or Belmont, probably, you know, the Jazz Vine at Keeneland, which is a great race. And uh, so we'll, we'll have either her are uh, stainless in that race at Keeneland. Or Belushin. Yeah, yeah or she Belushin. was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, looking at uh, just book one, I've had a chance. I'm gonna. I'm going to my first Keeneland September sale. I've never been Jack, and I'm looking at book number one. Over 160 horses catalog for the first day, and with the way that money was spent here in Saratoga with the yearling sale that you referenced. What are the expectations going into, especially day one, and looking at some of the pedigrees? I mean, you've got a half to always dreaming. You've got a, a horse that's half to Mahaman in New Year's Day out of Just Whistle Dixie. I mean, what are your expectations for the first couple of days at this Keeneland September, tem, September sale, which starts off on the 11th? It's probably going to be a continuation of the sale up here, I would guess. Uh, you know, we've always gone into book one and come out with something. You know, a lot of people shy away from it thinking that, you know, the pedigrees and the cost is going to be too much, but uh, historically we've been able to buy some horses at, you know, reasonable prices. Uh, but to answer your question, I would guess it's going to be more of the same that's that's been here. Well, we look uh, forward to it. We look forward to the uh, next Starlight Star, uh, most likely out of this uh, year's Keeneland September sale. And good luck today with Neolithic uh, taking on one of the top horses in North America, Gunrunner. All right, thanks for having me on. Best of luck. It's a uh, it, Neolithic. One thing about it: if there is a victory, there will be a huge winter circle <laughs> celebration afterwards, and some of the most fun to cover. I we think. may not make it to Keeneland. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have somebody there for you, I'm certain, even if you're not there physically. But we know that you will make it happen. Thanks to Jack Wolf from Starlight Racing and Keeneland September Yearling Sale. It's just around the corner. We'll have coverage on TVG and TVG2. Beginning on actually on Sunday, the sale starts Monday, and we'll have coverage of those first two days of one of the best, if not the best, sale in the world.